Hello guys, welcome back to another vlog, another week in my life. I am about to get my nails done. I peeled all my gel off, which I know is bad to do, but I feel like once one comes off, they just all start, you know, I just start peeling them all off. And honestly, my nails feel really like strong and healthy still. So happy about that, but I'm about to go get them done. Um, but I did just get a package in from Everlane and I got some really cute fall and winter pieces, some like staples that I think you guys will really like as well. So I did a little haul. I already recorded it. So I'm going to insert those clips for you right here. Here's a little sneak peek of the stuff I got and huge thank you to Everlane for partnering with me for this video. I got these boots too. Look how cute the texture is. They're so comfy. And I also got some really cute black boots that are such great quality and super comfortable as well. First up, we have this jacket that I think I'm going to use constantly during this season. It's neutral. It is so soft and comfortable and it's going to just be so cute over tanks, sweaters, anything. I got a size medium and I like that it's like cropped at a good length as well it's really really freaking cute also has pockets right here which we love and one up here these pants are something i feel like i would not normally choose but these are so so flattering i've literally never worn comfier pants they are just so so comfy they're basically like black trousers paired it all with these black boots i love these boots perfect fall vibes i feel like obviously these would go with so much like i said i don't normally choose black but I kind of feel like this outfit is like super New Yorkish. I feel like especially if I put my hair up, it would be like more of like an, an elevated look. Same jacket. And I just changed into some jeans I already had. And look at these boots. Perfect fall color. And I just absolutely love these. I think they're so cute. I like that they're pointed. A better look at the boots is always down here. Okay, now I'm going to put some beanies on that I got. I got two different beanies. I got this gray one and this darker kind of like bluish green one here's beanie number one super cute very comfy you can fold it you don't have to fold it i love it and i forgot how much i love wearing fall clothes i love beanies so much here is beanie color number two super super cute very comfy very cozy love it okay we just have two sweaters left this is one of them Super, super perfect sweater. Very cozy. I love the high neck of it. A little tip for you guys, if you did not know. So you can obviously wear your sweaters down like this, or you can tuck them into your jeans, of course. Or you can tuck them if you're wearing, so I'm wearing a workout tank underneath this, and you can tuck them in to your workout tank or whatever you're wearing underneath if it's cropped. Basically make your sweater cropped. This is hard to do with one hand. There you have it. You have a little cropped sweater and then the back is just like bunchy and cute so if you ever want to crop a sweater real fast that's how you do it and last but not least is this sweater that is a dark blue color i hope you can see that well in the in the camera but um i love the super high neck on it you could even you could even wear something over this like another sweater over it especially if you're somewhere really cold and this could be just kind of like the turtleneck sticking out of it. And I think the color is super cute. I'm going to turn this camera around so you can see the color better. Okay, I feel like this is kind of hard, a hard color for me to like show you guys. Ooh, that actually kind of gives you a better idea. It's a very bold blue color, um, which again, I probably wouldn't normally pick. But I'm trying to branch out a little bit because I feel like a lot of my clothes are just really like light colored. Um, which I love, but I like to have options. So I just thought this was like a super pretty bold color and it's a good contrast with my hair. That's why I picked it out. I'm so happy because I feel like LA is finally almost, almost cool enough. It's getting there to where I can wear this fall stuff. I've really missed wearing fall clothes. Everlane is just really, really great quality and it's all very flattering, just fits well. There's nothing that I hate more than clothing that you're like constantly tugging at because it just doesn't fit right or it just feels uncomfortable on your body and I'm definitely a quality over quantity type of person. I would much rather buy a few pieces that I absolutely love that are going to last me a while than get a bunch of stuff that I like kind of like but doesn't fit that well or isn't like great quality. So if you guys are looking for some fall pieces, I'll have it, everything I wore linked in the description so you guys can look at that or just their website in general. Everything that I showed you guys, not maybe not everything, but a lot of it comes in different colors. So if you liked like a sweater, like a fit of the sweater I was wearing or the trousers, the boots, any of that, check on their site to see if they have other colors in case you didn't love the color that I was wearing but you liked the fit or the style of it. So they have a ton of options. These are definitely staples 
staple pieces that I feel like I will be wearing a ton probably in vlogs to come and just in general this fall and winter. So if you're in need of some clothing or especially some staple items, I would definitely check them out. Again, it will be linked in the description. Okay, back to the vlog. Like I said, I'm going to get my nails done. I'm about to leave right now. My nails are really long right now. I'm surprised that none of them have like chipped or broken really. So that's nice. I think I'm gonna have them cut them down a little bit though because I don't like when my nails are super long. We'll see what color I get. I'm trying to branch out, but you know me. We like to stick to the basics. Just scheduled a haircut, a grooming for Lady. She needs her haircut very badly. She wants attention right now. And guess what else we did? You guys are gonna be so excited and proud of me because I finally replaced, I actually didn't do it, Leif did it. Replaced the batteries in the clock in my living room. This clock, as you can see, it's moving and a grooving. It is working and it's telling the time. It's so funny because so many of you guys would comment in all of my weekly vlogs and be like, please change the batteries in that clock. And I don't know why this is a common thread throughout my life that some things like that do not bother me at all, even though it's in my house and you would think I would be like itching to get batteries for it because it would annoy me that it's like broken, not broken, but just not telling time. But because I don't use it to tell time and I just use my phone, it m feels more like a decor piece to me. So I'm never like, oh, we need to get that clock working and I just forget about it. And this is so funny because I feel like this is a common thing, like I said, in my life where my friends or my mom will come over and like something about a situation will annoy them. They're like, not annoy them, but they'll be like, why haven't you put the batteries in that? Like, why did you, whatever. And I'm just like totally unbothered. Like, I don't know why things like that just, I don't focus on them and I don't care like about those little details of certain things. It's weird because I'm very like detail oriented. I've always considered myself like a perfectionist in certain areas, but then in other areas, I literally don't care. I just, it does not face me at all. But anyway, my clock is now working and thank you to everyone who's been bugging me to get the batteries fixed or else I might never have just done it because I literally don't think about it. But because of your comments. I did think about it and it'll be nice now because now I do have the option to look at it and see the actual time and I can actually use it for its function and not just as a decoration. So that's good. I am currently wearing my pink tie-dye sweatsuit from Milk Stain Apparel. These two cute necklaces, I literally wear this necklace like every single vlog and I always link it. So if you guys ever want a link to it, I'll have it linked. And then this little cute sh vintage Chanel necklace is from Mariposa Vintage, Danny's Vintage Shop. So cute. If you guys have not checked it out, you definitely should. She has the best stuff and she's coming out with more stuff soon that I've gotten sneak peeks of and it's really freaking cute. Let's do a transition where I like cover it and then when I come back, my nails are done. My nails are done. I got this cute green color. I wanted to get like a fallish color and I feel like maybe this is like more spring-ish, but I don't really like the way dark colors look on my nails most of the time. I always prefer like a lighter shade of whatever, whatever color I'm getting. So I thought this light green was really cute. I always feel so good when I get my nails done. I just feel so fresh and like I have my life together. So loving that for me. I have been on the phone with my credit card people, my credit card people, with Citibank because I have a few credit cards with them. It's a long story. Honestly, it's not that interesting. Basically, one of my accounts, I couldn't log into the online banking thing to like pay for the credit card bills, you know? It was just um, taking a certain amount out every month and I wanted to take either a bigger amount out every month or pay off the credit card. And it's like a credit card I don't really use that much. So I was like, oh, I wanna get that taken care of today. And it ended up just being a whole event where I had to call and then I had to get on the phone with someone. I had to recreate a new account because my account, I hadn't been on it in a while. And me and Leif share an account on something. Anyway, so I've been like on the phone trying to figure out this credit card thing and I figured it out. So everything is good. Also, Leif and I went to brunch yesterday and we ordered, you have to order on an app where we went and I ordered and then I was at, I ordered to the wrong location accidentally. And so I was like, oh shoot. So I was trying to cancel the order and the girl at the place was like, oh yeah, you'll be able to cancel it. Um, You know, made it sound like no problem. And I was like, okay, cool. So I reordered at the new location, at the right location we were at and I ordered twice. So basically I got charged twice. Actually, oh wow, that was loud. My pizza's done. I actually didn't even order it twice. The thing glitched and like put in two orders. So the girl's like, oh, did you mean to order twice? And I was like, no. So basically I got charged for brunch three times. 
So now I was also trying to figure out that whole situation and to make sure I can get my money back for all of those different orders. Stuff like this is always the worst when it just like takes up your day, but it's like just these little tiny things that you have that you weren't planning on doing that you have to do. All is well. I think I figured most of it out and I'm currently making a pizza. Um, Bonza sent me these pizzas and the crust is made of chickpeas. Leif and I had one the other day and it was so good. I'm trying out the roasted veggie one. I have not tried this one out yet, but here it is. Just got done and I'm really excited to eat this. It's black. Hello, welcome to our studio with very bad lighting. We don't have the lights on right now because the lights make it super hot, but we just got done recording a bonus podcast episode, which will already be up when you guys see this vlog. Whether or not you listen to our spooky stories episode or our scary stories episode, you should still listen to this bonus episode because it's very lighthearted and it will give you good feelings, especially right after you listen to our scary stories one. But we gave lots of advice, including a girl who hates her engagement ring that her fiance picked out for her. What was some other ones? How to find your passion in life. That's it. <laughs> no, there was lots more. So if you guys want to hear us, how to give live some a advice. trendy life on a budget. Oh yes, that was a good one. So we do bonus episodes every last Friday of the month. And this is one of those. So go give it a listen if you need something new to listen to while you're cleaning, getting ready, driving somewhere, whatever. Now we're trying to figure out our what we said feed because you know, we're running out of photos. We haven't really taken that many photos lately except for that the like wig shoot we did just for fun recently, but we're in need of doing a new uh what we said shoot. We usually do like I think we were trying to do one, like four a year. Like yeah. one Every per quarter. quarter of the year. And we just take a bunch of photos for our Instagram feed so that we don't have to like be shooting every week for it. You know, trying to use our time wisely. But it's been a minute, so we're kind of running low on photos. So we're trying to figure out our feed right now. We had a little meeting earlier with Beth. She came over and we just talked through some stuff for upcoming What We Said merch and other potential opportunities, you know, big things coming. Currently making some dinner. You guys have probably seen me make this meal many times before. I'm making the Kite Hill dairy-free tortellini and I got some olive oil from the farmer's market this weekend. This is what it looks like. So I'm gonna pour a little bit of olive oil into this pan and I'm gonna cook some asparagus that I just cut up right here. Final dinner, 10 out of 10. Good morning, another day, another sweatsuit. Today's sweatsuit is this like olive, not olive green, kind of like a light greenish color. Um, I don't know if it's still available. It's from Misguided. I got it last year or like earlier this year, I think. But I'm currently making some little English muffins, I'm putting some butter on them right now. And I cut up an avocado. So basically having avocado toast, but on an English muffin. The Bachelorette is on tonight. And I realized that I like keep sh telling you guys that I'm watching it and then I like never talk about my thoughts on it or anything. So before I watch tonight's episode, I wanted to tell you my thoughts on last week's episode, which was kind of the same as the first week. And it's just that I feel like I'm just bored. Don't really care that much about this season. Like I'm just not super entertained. I don't know, I'm just excited for Tasha to hopefully be the bachelorette because I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. No, no shade, no hate. I just am like not interested in it. And again, I'm still gonna watch because it's literally the only show that I watch. And I'm holding out. I think Claire's season is supposed to be four episodes long and then she leaves. So like I'm excited to see how it changes, like how it switches up. But yeah, I'm just like not feeling it. I'll let you know if anything changes tonight. I also am gonna try this new Nut Pods creamer. I've heard really good things about it. This is the one Chelsea uses, not this flavor, but this brand. It is an almond and coconut creamer. Um, this is the caramel one. So I'm gonna put this in my chai today and we'll see how I like it. Mmm, that's good. Here's my little avocado bagel. This is my morning starter pack. <gasps> avocado toast. Iced chai, whoops. Ritual vitamins, Claritin for my allergies. My allergies have been bad lately, shocker. They've been bad for a while. My hydro flask full of water. I always thought my allergies were like mostly bad in the spring, but then I was watching a vlog of like this time last year and I was so stuffed up and I was like, oh, my allergies are getting really bad because the seasons are changing. And I was like, oh. I guess it's just anytime the season changes, my allergies just flare up. So I've been taking Claritin recently. I feel like it doesn't make me 
as drowsy as Zyrtec or Zyrtec, however you say it. Even though they're both non-drowsy, like every allergy medication I've taken has been non-drowsy, but some of them just make me so tired and I like cannot function throughout the day. I did a TikTok recently and I was talking and someone was like, are you sick? And it's just my allergies make me like so stuffed up. Leif is dropping Lady off right now at the groomer, so I'll probably actually be back early soon. Today, our scary stories episode for what we said came out, and you guys are loving it, and it's cracking me up the things you guys are tagging me in. The stories really are so scary, especially if you're listening to them alone, or like people were tagging me and saying that they like were going on their morning walk and listening to the podcast, and they were like terrified and had to like run home because they were so scared. Super good episode that will get you in the Halloween spirit even though when you guys are watching this, Halloween will have just ended. But you know, it's still, it's spooky season. So even if you like like ghost stories or true crime, you should still listen to it. But yeah, it's fun because we only do these episodes once a year. So it's like something fun to look forward to. I woke up with another mini breakout on my chin. It could be hormonal, but I feel like the common denominator is always if I wear a mask for a long period of time, over my face if I'm going somewhere to the grocery store or somewhere where I just have to wear it for a, for a long period of time. The next day I break out on my chin and it's like always just right here. My my skin on like my forehead and right here is like so clear and then just like right where I wear the mask is just getting congested. I also have been tracking my sleep with this app called Sleep Cycle, which I've used before and then randomly I just stopped using it. I have no idea why. Um, I like it because it wakes you up really calmly instead of like a blaring alarm it wakes you up with like just calm music and it wakes you up so you can set like like i want um the alarm to wake me up between 7 and 7 30 and then it will just wake you up when it like senses that you're starting to move around and like you're kind of waking up on your own and then it just plays this like soft music and it's so much better to wake up that way than like at a very specific time blaring alarm i just feel like that's like stressful to wake up to i always try and get eight hours of sleep and the other night i was in bed for like eight and a half hours but I slept for only six hours and when I woke up, I was so exhausted and it was saying that like my sleep quality wasn't that great that night. I was like, oh, it makes sense why I'm so exhausted. And then last night, let's see what it was because it was, it was better last night and I feel more well rested this morning. So yesterday I was in bed for eight hours and 21 minutes and I was asleep for seven hours and 46 minutes, basically eight hours. And I was asleep within 10 minutes, which is awesome. I think before it was like I was asleep within like 30 minutes, which is not as good. So I went to bed at 11 p.m. and I woke up at 7.22. Here's what it looks like. It gives you like a graph and like shows you all these numbers and stuff. So I got a good night's sleep last night, which is great. I'm trying to go to bed even earlier. I don't really like going to bed at like 11, 11.30, midnight. I'd prefer to be in bed by 10 and even like be asleep by 10 30 because then i feel like it's just so much easier to wake up in the morning when you go to bed earlier obviously currently doing some work on my computer i am getting some inspiration on pinterest for a shoot and i'm wearing these green tea eye masks from bare minerals i'm obsessed they're so like cooling and it just feels so good i don't think i'm gonna put on makeup today maybe i will a little bit, little bit later but like i said when i break out i'm just like I don't like to put makeup on it because I almost feel like it just makes it worse and like suffocates my skin more. So if I have the option to not wear makeup, I definitely will not wear it. But I'm loving just doing skincare and relaxing. I'm still in my comfy clothes. That's the tea. That's the green tea. Okay, so we are about to embark on a journey because this office, basically we redid the office and got mine and Leif's like office setups set up, like our desk situation set up a few months ago, I think right before quarantine happened. And then that was before Balance Boss even existed. So then we started this new company, Balance Boss. We started our new brand where we teach like health and business courses and all that. And now our office has become a studio space. So if you've watched Balance Boss stuff, you know that we record with this backdrop. Um, usually it's like a tan backdrop. We record podcast episodes right here. We've been filming a few of them with the pink backdrop. So basically it's just turned into like a more of a studio set and a photo set with like lighting and all that than our individual like desk spaces now and because of that the whole setup is just like kind of a mess basically we just need to now situate the room for this setup because this is like the most important part of our office now is this setup we are taking down the collage kit over here beth has started doing that don't mind this dead plant that we always talk about in our podcast episodes leif says that he won't move it alone because there's a spider by it I'm exposing you, Leif. Is that true? I think it's a black widow. 
No. Yeah. Well, I don't want to move it. <laughs> yeah, we're like, Beth, you can do it then. Do it. Where do you think the Black Widow is? I don't know. I actually... And why do you think that? I, I thought I saw a spider move. And it looked big. So we need to move that plant. We're taking down the collage kit because it just doesn't make sense right there anymore because that's like not my office space anymore. Basically my office is now at the kitchen table. We're cleaning up and let me just show you guys like the current situation. So currently you walk in, there's this shelving unit that has like a bunch of random crap on it right now that used to just be like, you know, decor, but we've just kind of turned it into dropping stuff when we come in the room and like just putting whatever right there. So this is where we shoot. Um, the camera's over here, the lighting's set up right here, and then here's the backdrop. And this is like more lighting and stuff. So we're gonna keep that, like we're gonna keep the backdrop here and the camera where it's at because this is a good setup and probably keep Leif's desk right there because he usually like sits there and watches on the monitor and everything. But this whole thing is just, I think everything is just looking messy because there's like this, there's so much equipment. We're taking the collage kit down, like I said, right now. We need to get this plant out of here and then we just need to like just clean up. Like all of this stuff needs to be cleaned up. Like there is literally equipment and just like crap everywhere because we don't really have like a super great organizational system in the closet either. So we're just trying to get as much as we can done today. I don't think we're gonna get all of it done, but we're starting on it. Okay, it is a little bit later. My vlog camera actually died, so I was charging it. I'm gonna show you the progress we have made. It might not look, you know, too crazy, but we cleared off this whole wall and this space. We put some stuff in our garage, um, and we still need to organize the closet, which is not organized at all. It's so, has just random stuff everywhere. There's obviously still a ton of stuff on Leif's desk. We might be taking all of these down, but we cleared out this whole area and most of this area which was extremely cluttered before we are trying to like do things intentionally and not just like put stuff in random places we need to find a place for it or get rid of it if we're not using it or if we haven't been using it so i feel like this is going to take a while to organize everything there's just like so many random cords and things so it's going to take a little bit but i'm very happy with the progress we made we've also been cleaning our backyard area leif is hosing off this whole area and I am gonna wash these couch cushions. Guess who got a haircut? Lady, come here. Lady got groomed today. She looks really cute. Just made some dinner. Chicken, broccoli, and rice. Why is my vlog camera doing that? See Lady's haircut a little bit better, maybe. Her little eyelash gets in her eye all the time. It's like so long. I am about to go to Cineholic with Kristen and Chelsea. I'm gonna get some vegan cinnamon rolls. First, we gotta turn on some Animal Planet for Lady. Which one's your favorite? Vegan cinnamon rolls. Wait, wait, I forgot these were vegan. You should not have said it till after. Oh shoot, actually, I don't know. I shouldn't be like hyping it up so much because you have non-vegan cinnamon rolls a lot. I feel yeah. like you make them all the time. But these are really I good. Do. I have my famous cinnamon roll. But these are definitely very good. I mean, Especially for incredible. being But it will not <laughs> cut through. <laughs> Chelsea, I knew you'd react, so I had my Zoom ready. Is that a mic? Yeah. Bachelorette. <gasps> With the boys. With the boys. And then we noticed how. Would you honestly like Black 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 Black? Uh, It's such a train wreck, yes. <laughs> train wreck that you can't look away from. Here's you just boy. can't look away. Here's a little camps. So camper. Oh, I'm allergic to you. Ah! Is it like so out of focus? Oh, there we go. My bestie. But I'm allergic to. Last night, obviously an emotional night. Sue, are we surprised? No, we're not. Beth is on her way over right now. I feel like my makeup's looking crazy in this light. 
my bathroom is literally it has like the worst lighting it's so dark in there so whenever i get done with my makeup and then i come out into the real light i'm like okay so the bachelorette last night wow 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 i have so many thoughts we're gonna discuss it on the podcast next week which will be in a few days when you are watching this vlog it'll come out this tuesday because we're doing like embarrassing cringy date stories so we're gonna do a bachelor re bachelorette recap at the beginning of the episode because what what a more perfect subject to be talking about it because last night was very cringeworthy and there were so many moments where I was just like what is happening I truly don't even know I don't even know what to say I'm not gonna say anything specifically about Claire herself I just feel like she's making like very bad decisions like just handling things in a not good way especially for this show I feel like she just found Dale and is like ready to just be done with the whole thing, but she's not like respecting the process of the show. And like, I feel like a lot of people that have been leads on the show before have felt like they kind of know who they're going to pick early on, but they like, I don't want to say they still like fake it for the camera, but it's like they still go along with the process and give other people a chance because that's the show they're on. And I just feel like she is maybe because she's a little bit older and she's ready to like settle down that she's just like does not feel like she has time to even like give other people a shot she just like has her eyes on the prize which is Dale for her in on one hand I respect that she knows what she wants and she's like not trying to play any games but at the same time I feel like for the show's sake she's just like not giving the show what it needs and she's not being like respectful of the other guys and their the time that they've taken away to be here so stay tuned for my bachelorette thoughts if you guys want to listen to our podcast check it out i'll link it below so yesterday like you guys saw we cleaned up a bunch of stuff in the office it's still nowhere near done we need to do a lot more and we might be doing that later today although we kind of have like a busy day Leif's at lunch right now with his dad his dad's in town and i'm about to hop on a call with our podcast network in like 15 minutes and i'm not sure if we're gonna have time to clean and organize more today but that's definitely something we want to like get going on the other thing is that we were putting some stuff in the garage yesterday we've been wanting to turn our garage like half of our garage into a little gym area for a while now basically ever since quarantine started and we could not go to the gym we wanted to like make one at home for ourselves because right now i currently work out like you guys always see just in this front room i have to move the coffee table so it's over here right now i still need to move it back from this morning's workout or i'll work out on our patio which is fine i just like put a yoga mat out there but Leif likes to lift weights and stuff too and there's just like not really a great spot in our house to do that but then when we were like oh are we gonna move we're, we kind of feel like should we even bother buying all that stuff and like transforming that space and then we move but Leif and I were talking about it yesterday and we were saying it might still be a good investment because we're not gonna like completely renovate the garage or anything the garage already has white walls and just like cement floor so we would just get like some sort of like those like puzzle piece flooring things I don't really know about it Leif was telling me about it for the ground and then just get like a bench and a squat bar and some other stuff I've been wanting to transform th that area into like a gym slash health and wellness area where we have like a mini fridge with drinks out there also our red light machine which Leif got me for Christmas last year and we don't use it that much because we don't have like a specific place for it it's kind of bulky it's like this big and there's not really a place that it can go that like we would use it every single day that's not just like out in the open and distracting and so we were saying we could plug it in out there and have kind of that whole space just be like a workout little like health and wellness area which would be so nice if we do end up moving soon then we can always first of all take it with us number two if we downsize regardless we're getting rid of right now we have an attic a garage so and like lots of closets so if we downsize yes we'll get rid of some stuff but a lot of stuff that we have is like they're pieces that we want to take to like our future home that we build or that we buy and so we would probably just get a storage unit regardless if we do downsize to like keep a lot of our stuff and so if we do move and downsize and we don't have a spot for the gym equipment, we would just put it into storage with everything else. So we feel like it will be a good investment. We'll definitely keep it and want to use it in the future. So we're thinking about that. And Leif has been researching some equipment and like just some different stuff to kind of like see the price range. So 
stay tuned because if we do that i'll definitely take you guys through the process and i think it would be so fun and so nice to have that I covered up my zit i have a few zits actually from my mask i feel like my skin is like not happy this week and it feels good to just cover it up sometimes it was so red and just like so painful that a lot of times I just like to let my skin breathe, but today I was like, you know what? I want to cover this with concealer. And it feels good to just not have my chin be like bright red right now. So, you know, you got to do what you got to do. Just had my Zoom call. Went great. Zoom calls are always so awkward at the end when everyone's just sitting there. You don't want to interrupt people, especially if there's a lot of people on. There were like five people on this one. And you like don't want to interrupt, but then it's just this awkward silence and... You know, I've never done Zoom or like virtual calls like this really until recently. I've always just done like over the phone stuff, but then now in the age of COVID, I've done so many random little Zoom calls. And I will say, I actually like it. I feel like you feel like you're FaceTiming with people. You feel like you really get to know them, which is cool. Like when I'm on the phone with brands or people that I haven't met, I feel like I can actually, when we see each other face to face, we can get a good feel for each other, which is cool, but there's always just so many random awkward silences and it cracks me up. Anyway, I'm on Pinterest right now, pinning some inspiration. I love going on Pinterest, especially if I'm feeling like in a rut or something, or if I'm just feeling like I don't have ideas creatively, which happens often, especially lately. I love getting on Pinterest and just like making mood boards. So I've been pinning some like fall inspo pictures just for fun honestly i don't even know like what i plan on doing with these i'm not trying to recreate any of them i just like catching a vibe you know what i mean i'll show you guys my um some pins i've recently been pinning here are the current here's my current mood for fall also i really want a bagel like this like how good does that look a lot of the stuff i pin is food <laughs> But yeah, I just love doing this. It always gives me some ideas for like outfits and food and recipes and places that I want to travel when things are back to normal. So yeah, it makes me happy. Pickleball time. Do you ever get maskne? Um, Have you yet? Your skin's perfect. No, I started using a new skincare product. I won't out them, but I did start breaking out. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Here. Look at mine, mountains. It's like every time I wear the mask for a while, the next day I break out really bad just in this area and like the rest of my skin is like just the normal next and clear. Day. Yes. Oh my gosh, do you wash it? I'm like, I rub it in mud. <laughs> no, I wash, I'm like, I don't think I've ever washed my, my mask. Oh, wash the mask. I think yeah. I wash my face. Look, um, see all the makeup? And it? you still don't break out. She really is a I, real life perfect I angel. I really am perfect. Wow, I'm just looking at the view. <laughs> do you look at that thing yes. all the time? Yes, and then I mess up. <gasps> That's why um, mine's on top. It's it doesn't um, expose Trick you, as you easily. I know, a lot of times I'll be watching this for a long period of time, and then in the vlog, I'm like, like my eyes are just like, right you're like, right. I'm so sorry, I've been looking at myself. I'm just checking myself out, playing Anyways, pickleball. we lost to them two to 12. Wait, to 12, is that what it goes to? Oh, oh yeah, wait, no, 10. 11. 11. Wow, I've been playing pickleball for months, didn't even know the score. I don't think we're ever gonna beat you guys. I think you will. I think when you have full mobi mobility, you guys will. You'll crush yeah. us. And like you and Chelsea and Nick and Leif have all gotten so much better. I don't now th we're I like think you've gotten way better. Now we're like playing with pickleball pros. No, I think you and Marcus have improved so much. Me earlier in this vlog, I was like, my hair is so long and like cute. I love this rat too. <laughs> I know for a fact I've had a major glow up since I last saw you guys. Maybe it's not major. I don't want to give myself too much credit, but I put tanning stuff on, which means that I had a mini glow up and I also put concealer over my massive zit, which is not gone yet at all. It's like so just, it's under the skin and it hurts so bad and it's not like poppable. Like it's just one of those ones that's like rock hard underneath the skin, the worst kind of zit ever. Anyway, that's what I'm going through at the moment. I just shot some photos, Leif shot some photos of me. And, oh wow, this lighting's way better when I get closer to the window. And I'm home now, I'm wearing this really cute set from Fabletics. Lady came to cuddle me. Cute, have we shown them your haircut? Yeah, you look so cute with your haircut. Guys, Lady does not kiss, like she does not lick your lips ever. I feel like most dogs like just lick people like they lick their mouths but lady literally never will which i actually love because i don't really want her to lick my mouth but whenever i go she just chills there i'm about to get interviewed on a podcast called chicken noodle scoop 
two really cute girls. So we're doing a little like Zoom interview thing. And I was going to make, you know, I had grand plans for tonight. I was going to make this soup, maybe a fall dessert. And I'm just tapped out. It's almost 6 p.m. And I've already been just like working all day. And I still have more work to do with this podcast episode. And I'm just like, by the time I'm done, it's going to be 7. Am I really going to want to like make a soup for an hour and then make a fall dessert? I don't think so. I got to be realistic with myself. Also, you guys are going to die because I changed the batteries in my clock, as you know. The clock literally stopped ticking, stopped going like an hour after we put the batteries in. Just done. Doesn't move. I'll show you guys. Just tapped out right there. We put batteries in when we first got the clock and then... I think we just thought like, oh, the batteries didn't last as long as we thought they would. But I think they like literally didn't last, maybe lasted a few days or something, which is not normal. So I feel like the clock is broken or something. No more hate comments about my clock, okay? At this point, it's an art piece and it is nothing more because I don't know why it just stopped working. And I feel like if I replace the batteries again tomorrow, it's just going to do the same thing. So I don't have much faith in it. I'm going to end this vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for next week's vlog. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any videos. Thank you for all your support. I love you guys and I will see you next time. Goodbye.